Hello and welcome to Glendale Today. I'm Council Member Ray Malner. I represent the Saguaro District located in the north central part of Glendale. On today's program, we are here visiting with Ed and Alan Prudhomme at the Paseo Racket Center. The Racket Center is one of Glendale's hidden gems, which enhances Glendale's residents' quality of life. Also, later in, in the show, we'll drop by and see the great work being done over at One Step Beyond. Welcome both of you, Ed and Alan. Hi, we're glad to be here. Well, I'm, I'm glad you could uh, visit with us a little bit uh, today on uh, Glendale Today. Ed, why don't you uh, start off by telling us uh, about your background and, and how you got into tennis. Well, when we didn't live very far from here and when we were children, my father built a tennis court at our house. Um, he had played when he was younger, but my mother and n neither of my other two brothers had played, so he taught us all to play, and that evolved into all of us playing in high school, all of us playing junior tournaments, uh, we all played in college, and eventually coached high school, coached college, and got involved here. Excellent. Alan, what about you? I got into tennis when I was very young. My father played uh, football, basketball, and tennis for Notre Dame University. Back then, good athletes were usually multiple sport athletes, and he lettered in all three of them. And so I had the benefit of learning from him. And I come from a large family. There were eight children. And the, my best competition wo was my siblings. Ah. It was my older brother and I who competed through high school as who was going to be the state champion. Uh, and then I went to uh, college on a football scholarship. And back then, they didn't have spring training. So the football coach made it mandatory that you did a spring sport. So I chose tennis, wound up playing number one for the uh, Kansas State University, and the tennis coach offered me a better scholarship than the football coach, so I dropped football and concentrated on tennis. Oh, well, good for you. So I've uh, played tennis all my life, and as my son said, uh, they've all played all of their life, too. Uh, it's a great sport that you can play your entire life. I am now playing with a great-grandchild. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. So uh, it's been in the family. In fact, uh, somebody once asked, it was a future daughter-in-law, she said to me, she said, Alan, do you need to know how to play tennis to marry into this family? <laughs> and I said, no, but you do have to be willing to learn. Learn, yes, <laughs> indeed. Well, thank you for that. Um, Ed, uh, why don't you tell us a little about about the Paseo Racket Center, uh, you know, what goes on here. You know, today's a gorgeous day, a nice sunny day, and, you know, people are playing here in the background. Why don't you tell us about what goes on here? Okay, well, we have uh, 19 courts, we have a pro shop, we have a little sports bar, we try to be full service. Uh, we offer uh, programs from beginning players to advanced players. Uh, we have some people who only play their tennis here and just are completely social. And then we have events for people who have aspirations of playing better. We host, we've hosted uh, pro tournaments. We host the high school state championship here. We host national tournaments for adults and juniors. And so we try to have something a little bit for everyone here, whether they're purely social, purely competitive, or somewhere in between. Excellent, excellent. Alan, why don't you tell us about some of the, the big events that you've hosted here at the center? Well, uh, we, we do a lot of different events. Personally, I think the biggest one is we have the largest junior summer camp program in the state. And I always feel good when I see that. We, we, we can have between three and 400 children go through our summer camp program. And that makes me feel better than anything. But some of the more exciting events is we have hosted three professional tournaments. As a matter of fact, this former city manager told me that we hosted the first professional sporting events in Glendale's history. Oh, excellent. With our first pro tournament. And so we, we uh, we've, uh, have, as Ed said, we have the national tournaments as well, but we also host a very large spring college tennis event. Our biggest year was we had 122 teams come in from all across the country. Uh, numbers have cut back. Uh, a little bit in the last years, but uh, that's going to change starting next year because uh, we've had a few courts that weren't up to the standard for Division One teams, but uh, 
uh, in uh, two months they, they'll all be up to standard and we'll get those numbers back up. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Ed, why don't you tell us, uh, you mentioned youth uh, programs. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little for bit the, more about the youth what's programs. going on with that. Yeah, well, we take a lot of pride in what we're doing with our youth programs. Uh, like I said, we all grew up and went to Greenway High School, not far from here. And when we wanted to get tennis lessons as kids, mom and dad had to cart us over to Scottsdale because there wasn't anything on this side of town. So now we love it. We're doing junior programs, and we get Scottsdale kids coming over here to take Excellent. lessons from us. <laughs> a so nice that's twist. kind of fun. Yeah, but we have programs starting uh, with kids somewhere in the age from three to four to five, depending on their attention span. And then we and we have programs up until kids are ready to go to college. Um, we have programs on the weekend. We have programs after school. We do our summer camp program, which is, like Alan said, the biggest in the state. So uh, we've got stuff going year round for junior players. Excellent. Alan, why don't you tell us about some of the senior programs you have? I'm, I haven't played tennis for 20, 30 years, but I would like to get back into it. So what, what can I do to get well, back that, into it? It's good that you said that. Uh, the largest number of beginners for us are, are juniors, but the second largest number of players that we get are recent retirees. Uh, we've actually developed a program with the AARP and they have an annual event here uh, and the, they promote getting seniors that uh, are retiring to get into an activity Excellent. and tennis is one of them that you can do that. Uh, it's unbelievable how people can keep playing tennis no matter their age. We have a dozen people here over 85 that play four and five times a week. Wow. I admire them. They call me a kid, <laughs> but uh, it's enjoyable to watch them. So we have a lot of interest in working with recent retirees. So do, do you have to have a membership to, to play here? How does that work? Well, when people ask that question often when they walk in the door for the first time and we always say, yes, is there is a membership. It's cost $4, uh, but that's what it costs to rent a court here. Oh, okay. Uh, but no, there is no membership. You pay as you go, okay. like a smorgasbord, whatever you want, whether it's a clinic, a lesson, a private, or rent the ball machine, you just pay for that activity. Oh, and our prices are the lowest in the valley at this time. Well, X sounds like an excellent service we're providing for the residents of Glendale. Yes, and the residents uh, that play here tell us that very often, that they appreciate it. Now, I understand that the Racquet Center is going to be getting some uh, renovations very soon. Why don't you tell us about that? I don't know which yes. one of you want to it address start, that. It started yesterday, and we are looking forward to it. We've already had a few situations that we anticipated to deal with. People are saying, gee, it's too noisy here. It's the same people that told us for the last two years, gee, your courts need to be improved. But uh, we expected that. We did start yesterday the, the renovation will include rebuilding five deteriorated courts and resurfacing the remaining 14 courts. Uh, that's phase one. Uh, we will look like a new facility when it's over and we should be done sometime in the middle of January. Excellent. And when we get that done behind us, then Ed will go back to work and full steam ahead and get us back to our busiest uh, days uh, we, we used to be by far the, the, one of the busiest tennis facilities in the country. Uh, we dropped off just a little bit the last couple of years because Grand Canyon University plays here and they were Division II and the Division II colleges weren't as particular. But when Grand Canyon moved to Division I, then the visiting teams that came in started saying that you can't play in some of our courts. But that was a short-lived problem. It's going away right now as we, as Excellent. we sit here. Uh, you, uh, our uh, uh, citizens would be hearing the construction noise right now, except they're on lunch break. We, we took them on <laughs> lunch break. Excellent. You know, I, I, I want to make sure that the uh, residents understand this is a city-owned facility, and the Perdome family are the, the caretakers, and they take care of it, and they run the facility for the city of Glendale. So it's, it's an excellent facility here right in the midst of, right in the middle of our, our great city. So anyway, I want to thank both of you for being guests on my show today and, and showing me the Racket Center and, uh, you know, talking about the great things that are going on here. So again, thanks a lot and uh, looking forward to hitting that next ball. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're looking forward, forward to, to getting you back on the court. Thank you so much for visiting. Thanks today. for inviting you us. You bet. We're proud of the 
Paseo Racquet Center and with our relationship with the city in running it. Excellent. Thank you. For more information on Paseo Racquet Center or on anything you heard on the show, go to www.paseoracquetcenter.com or call 623-979-1234. We'll be right back where we're going to be speaking with the uh, folks over at One Step Beyond, a comprehensive center that helps people with developmental disabilities. Thank you.